All right, so we're going to talk about these. These are the Bose QC20 eyes. They are the first noise-canceling earbuds manufactured by Bose. Uh, there are some competing pocket products out on the market right now, uh, Klipsch and I believe Monster, if I'm not mistaken. Could be, uh, could be wrong on that. But that's the competition when it comes to the noise-canceling uh, side of the house with earbuds. Uh, of course, Bose has their QC15s, which are the um, around ear headphones, and then they have the QC3s, which are the uh, on-ear headphones. So this is the first earbuds that they're manufacturing that have their noise-canceling technology inside of them. So, like I showed you, this is the box in case you haven't seen it at your local Apple or Best Buy. Is this packaging absolutely necessary? No. It's, it's a big fancy box because it's a big, well, it's a small fancy product. So, as you can see, it's already unboxed. Alright, so here we are. This is your little carrying case, which I have to admit is a lot more convenient than the, uh, the, the large case that you have to use for the QC15s. I mean, it's not that big, but this is something you can carry in your pocket. The QC15s are not something you can carry in your pocket. The QC3 is same thing. I mean, the QC3s come with a little strap if you want to really wear like a purse and then it's on you. But anyway, these fit nicely in your pocket. That's, that is a plus that I really like about this. So if you're somebody who likes to travel light or you don't want to keep going in and out of your bag in an airplane, this is a good product to have. Me, my bags fly free. Um, on United, so I check everything. So now that I'm, I'm not even gonna have to carry, I'm not even gonna have to have a carry on anymore because I have this in my phone in my pocket. That's it. So anyway, you can see nice little case. It says Bose right there. Yeah. Uh, and then it just unzips like a wallet. It does come with your micro USB because. It has a lithium ion battery right here. And the USB just plugs in the side. And it's USB, so it just plugs into your standard wall charger that you're gonna use for your iPhone or your Gal uh, your Galaxy. So anyway, this is the product itself. Your earbuds, your control unit, clip battery and it's also an additional control module not only do you this is the battery itself and it charges right here but there's also a sw uh, your switch right here and that's what actually turns the noise cancellation on and then off and then of course this is your 1 8 inch plug that you're going to plug into your iPhone or your iPad or whatever you're listening to your zoom you still have a zoom Anyway, it has Bose's standard easy fit tips. Uh, these are the medium ones. These are the ones that come uh, on them. You get a small and a large set as well. These ones fit my ears, so I had no need to change them. Construction wise on these, um, they look a lot like the IE2s or the SIE2s. Um, you can see that in the design of the cord. However, I will say they do feel more durable, even over the SIE2s or sport uh, earbuds. The cable itself is actually thicker, um, especially once you get past this control uh, module. This cord is actually quite thick. You can even see that in this video. So that was the first thing that I was pleased about, because when I first saw this, just in the pictures, I was concerned it was the same thin one you see in the IE2s. And Anybody who owns a pair of IE2s for more than six months usually has something frayed along it. So overall, the sealing, um, uh, your seals, your actual cable, all the rubber on it actually seems to be very high quality. I'm very pleased about that. The other thing that concerned me about was uh, about these earbuds when I was first looking at them 
was this, this battery pack. I thought it was going to be kind of just this awkward heavy thing that you would have to hold or stick in your pocket. Just something that would kind of weigh down and pull down on your uh, on your earbuds. But as it turns out, it really doesn't at all. It's very, it's quite light. It's very thin, as you can see. It's about as thin as an iPod Nano. And like I said, it's very light. It's got a, it's got a rubber casing on it, so it's good for gripping. You need to grip it. So overall construction, very very happy. The earbuds themselves, which you see right here, and uh, excellent. Like I said, even better than the IE2s or the SIE2s. Um, obviously, you have your external microphones. All right, that's what's used in the noise cancellation process. But overall, I'm very pleased with the construction of these. Uh, Bose did it the right way, as they often do, uh, and I'm pleased with that on this end. Now the sound quality. You can listen to your audio three different ways. Unpowered, so this unit is not on. All right, it's just off. You plug it in and you let whatever you're listening to actually power uh, the earbuds themselves. And that works fine. Sounds like a pair of IE2s. Little, a little tinnier, but it still sounds pretty good. It sounds like uh, the ear pods that Apple uh, ships with all their iPod and iPhones now. So you can listen to it that way. The second way you can listen to it is with noise cancellation, uh, like so right now. Now this is the best mode, that's what these are designed to be listened, uh, the mode that these are designed to be listened to on. Uh, the sound isolation, by the fact that these are in your ear canal to start with, is already excellent. Even the IE2s have some noise uh, isolation, or, and they insulate your ear. Now these go a step further by adding an additional cone, which you see on a lot of earplugs. So the Noise insulation is even better. The moment you turn on the actual noise cancellation itself, the active noise cancellation, not the passive noise cancellation, the whole world is shut off. Uh, fans, air conditioning, jets, it's all. It's. I think it's legitimately better than the QC15s or the QC3s. Uh, that's not because the active noise cancellation is any better. It's simply because you're inserting something into your ear canal that's sealing it off. So between that and then the active noise cancellation that uh, Bose has uh, incorporated into these earbuds, it's very, very good. Um, I can't hear people when they talk to me. You, now, if somebody wants to talk to you or you don't want the noise cancellation necessarily on, you can press this button here, uh, which is their aware mode, which the microphones essentially kind of act as a hearing aid and they'll amplify balanced so it's not like loud interrupting what you're listening to but just enough so you can hear it if your music's too loud even with the aware mode it's you can't hear what they're saying you gotta turn it down it's a nice function it's kind of a novelty in my opinion it's not necessary I mean if somebody wants to talk to you rather than pressing a button I'll do this Noise cancellation mode back on. Voila. So, the aware mode. It's a nice sound bit, something that they can write to advertise it. It's a nifty feature, but unnecessary in my opinion. Now, the actual sound quality when you're listening to your music. Comparable to the IE2s, comparable to the QC15s. Um, sounds very very good I'm very very pleased um, they are expensive they're three hundred dollars do I feel like I'm getting three hundred dollars worth of sound for earbuds yes I do and I've compared them to my QC15s and I can't hear much of a difference the only time I will hear a difference is if I'm, if I'm watching a, a movie especially a movie with um, action when there's a lot going on in the scene and then you have a very low you have a lot of music going on, specifically in the lower registers, timpanis, tubas, anything way down there when you're in the lows. 
and it, it does have the ability to overpower the earbuds and much like you'd expect on a pair of cheap speakers it'll back off uh, in attempt to compensate so you get the entire sound. I noticed it watching Star Trek Into Darkness which that movie is exactly the type of environment and the type of scenes that I'm talking about that's able to overpower these earbuds. Again, I go back to the fact they're earbuds. That's what they are, pure and simple. I mean, find me a pair of earbuds that doesn't do that, especially in the higher volumes. So, other than that, noise cancellation impressed me very much. Uh, in combination, good Bose audio, uh, good Bose sound. Very pleased with them. They think they're a good buy. My, they're a good pair of earbuds just to have. They can be your normal walk around earbuds, but on top of that, you can bring them on an airplane. You can bring them on a train, and they sound great while also serving as your noise canceling headset. You no longer have to wear the, those big QC 15s. The QC 15s have their place, I'll give them that. Um, having something in your ear canal for an extended period of time does kind of start to bother you. It puts that pressure in there. Um, and it, it is an earplug, so it can get kind of well. The QC15s make sense more for comfort reasons than the QC3s as well. However, I will say that um, I've worn them for hours. I've watched movies with them, and it doesn't bother me all that much. So definitely, from now on, when I'm flying, especially domestically, these are going to be in my pocket. The QC15s can stay at home. On the international stuff, I'm going to bring the QC15s. But uh, definitely these. It's a good buy. I give it a thumbs up. Do your research. Um, I mean, I tell people all the time, especially when you get into those Bose arguments, that Bose is just overpriced cardboard, English speakers and such. Everybody's ear is different. I like this. I like these. I do. Um, try them out. If you're in the market for a pair, a pair of really good earbuds, and you've also been looking at those QC15s or looking at those Beats uh, Studio, I, I can't. I don't even know. I, I can't stand Beats, but they're noise canceling headphones. Um, I'd say give these a shot. Two birds, one stone. It's a great pair. They're really well built. They'll last a long time. They will last a very long time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll try my best to make a response if the question warrants a response. Uh, if you have nasty comments to leave, well, then, I mean, you can post them and you're going to delete them so they're going to waste your time. Other than that, have a good one.